I'm Matt Dwyer and today I'm going to talk to you about how Stevie Ray Vaughan played rhythm. Now there are a million YouTube videos on Stevie Ray Vaughan's lead guitar playing. Not a lot of people talk about his rhythm playing. Now the song I was playing there was Pride and Joy. Uh, you can use that style of playing in a lot of songs. However, when you do, what makes it sound so cool is the syncopation. Now the syncopation is playing on the AND of the beat. So it's one AND two AND three AND four. Now how Stevie did that, he had big hands. So what he used to do was where you would normally play. He would actually mute the rest of the strings like that with the rest of his hand and just open up the string that was being played. Hopefully that makes sense to you. It'll make sense when I start playing. So So what that does is it not only gives it more of a beat and it swings more, there's just more volume there because he played in a three-piece band. Well, he did play in a three-piece band until Reese Winans joined the band. And he played keyboards. But uh, for a long time, it was a trio. So playing in a trio, that's an art unto itself. When you're playing in a trio, it can sound a little bit thin. Whereas Stevie's way of playing was See what I mean? It was that syncopation that not only made the music swing and gave it a jump, but it just created more fullness. It was a fuller band and he had enormous tone as well. And a huge part of that was volume. He played really loud. I saw him twice live and it was loud. A lot of it was the volume and a lot of it was playing rhythm, which was... Now, like I said, everybody talks about Stevie Ray Vaughan soloing and all the licks that he played, but he's a very underrated rhythm guitar player. He was funky as hell. He was a great rhythm guitar player. And that is just one example of where his rhythm playing was a huge part of his sound. So I'm going to play it some more. So there's another element of Stevie Ray Vaughan's playing and what made him so great. His rhythm playing. He was a hell of a rhythm player. So I hope you enjoyed that. I hope you can incorporate that into playing. Uh, my name's Matt Dwyer. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. All my details are down the bottom. Uh, I've got a PayPal account with a tip jar if you feel like throwing in a few bucks. Thanks. Stay tuned and I'll see you soon.